God is going to anoint you today. I believe that the Holy Spirit has assigned me to come and pour an oil on you today. What the Holy Spirit is going to do today is that he is going to take into account all the nine days we've spent with him. And you understand that nine signifies a time that things are birthed out. And not only have you received the strength for these few days, but the anointing that is going to come upon you today is going to be the strength that you have acquired within these nine days of fast. But most importantly, you are going to be anointed with the oil of gladness and influence you're going to be anointed with what it takes to fulfill that which god has said about your life within these 10 days and so i want you to understand that this moment is a moment where you are going to be set apart because the oil that is going to come upon you is going to bring you to a place where you will be able to fulfill things that without the oil you cannot uh, we're going to get into the, the, the verse for the day very shortly, but I want you to understand this. What the oil does, what the anointing does, is that it the anointing marks you and places you in such a way that it announces to every force, every power that you have been appointed and anointed for the office with which you walk in. And so I believe that what God is going to do in today is that he is going to mark you so that wherever you step in the new year, you'll be anointed for it. Uh, God help me. Wherever you step in the new year, you'll be anointed for it. And that is what he's going to do. He's going to anoint you for the time that you are about to enter. And so I want you to get ready for it. I will give you instruction on how to be anointed. But my assignment today is to anoint you with the oil of influence. The scripture says, I have found my servant David and with my oil have I anointed him. I believe that we have been called. When you consider the scripture, the Bible says something which I like. It says now, the Bible says now, uh, he says, now the anointing you have received abided in you and therefore you need that nobody teach you anything, but the same anointing that abides in you teaches you all things. And so I want you to know today is the day that you will be anointed with a fresh oil of influence, with a fresh oil of power, with a fresh oil that is going to change certain situations in your life. So first thing first, I want you to get ready. It's an anointing day, a day that the Lord will pour his Holy Spirit upon you without measure and bring you into a place where you can occupy. So the anointing that we are going to receive today is going to now mark us in all dimensions and all areas of your life there's going to be anointing that will come upon you to give you domestic ability there's going to be an anointing that will come upon you to give you ability in the workplace there's going to be a professional grace that will come upon you for you to excel in your profession there's going to be an anointing that will come upon you to begin to advance you in ministry there's going to be an anointing that will come upon you to begin to begin to oh god help me the holy spirit is saying that he's going to anoint you with the grace so that you will be able to excel you'll be able to without the anointing your words don't carry weight if you are not anointed as a mother you will talk but it won't affect your children if you are not anointed as a business person you can pitch but it won't bring result the anointing makes the difference it adds value to what you do because the scripture says that or because of the oil the yoke shall be broken i declare in the name of jesus christ that a supernatural oil is going to come upon you as never before and it's going to turn situations around it's going to turn conditions around it's going to turn purpose around because you have come in contact with the oil you have come in contact with the anointing you have come in contact with the grace you've come in contact with what god can do with and through you and so that's what we're going to do today the anointing of god will change your story the anointing of god will change your condition the anointing of god will change your situation praise the I, I, I am ready for this. So the first thing, before we come back and consider the test today, I want you to look at the, the protocol, the instructions that the Lord wants you to follow. Whatever oil you have in your house is fine. 
you're going to take that oil and you follow the instructions after i teach i'm going to give the instructions but first i will pray over the oil with you i'm going to agree with you and pray over the oil with you and then based on the instructions you apply it in faith because when you consider i will come back and teach so i would i don't want to rush but today i welcome you to nine the, the day or the time of birthing and i believe that as you are anointed you are going to make a difference in the name of jesus so i want you to just prepare yourself if you don't have the right place to receive the anointing replay the podcast at the right place so that you'll be anointed properly in the name of jesus thank you god God, praise God. All right, so my assignment is located in the book of Matthew, the gospel according to Matthew chapter 6, the division number 17. The Bible says, Now, when you fast, anoint your head. When you fast, anoint your head. Now, um, one of the things that is very significant about this verse is Jesus is speaking, and Jesus made a very profound statement when he talks about fasting and anointing. He said that in this context, when you understand what he was saying, the Bible just says, when you fast, understand that your condition has changed. Because what he was observing is that when they fast, they look sad. When they fast, they look like they have not upgraded themselves in the realms of the spirit. So what Jesus was saying is that when you fast, look good because you are looking good in the spirit and therefore anoint yourself and wash your face and when you begin to understand what he's saying it means that an upgrade has been taking place in your life therefore apply the oil of gladness the oil of influence over your life i am so aware of what god is going to do today in your life as never before now let me begin to share with you things that are going to come upon you as a ve- base on the fact that you are going to be anointed today the bible says that when the angel appeared unto mary the angel said that for you are going to have a child that is of god and the bible says out of the mindset of mary mary said but how can this be since i know not a man and the angel said the holy spirit is going to overshadow you the first thing that is going to happen to you when i anoint you today is that the holy spirit is going to overshadow you and when the holy spirit overshadow you it when the holy spirit overshadow you the next action that is going to happen in your life is an action that is born of the spirit it is not going to be by mind it's not going to be by power but it's going to be by the spirit i thank god so much that he has 
he has he has somehow he has somehow connected you to this podcast has somehow tricked you into understanding his voice and has somehow be a partaker of this 10-day miracle i declare in jesus name that as you get this oil on your head the holy spirit will overshadow you the second thing that's going to happen is that the holy spirit is not only 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 going to overshadow you the holy spirit is also going to mark you mark you the word mark you means that he is going to now give you what it takes to walk in that office he's going to give you what it takes to walk in that office he's going to give you what it takes now to be established in your destiny he's going to give you what it takes to be established in your family he's going to give you an unusual anointing that is going to affect your business he's going to give you an unusual anointing that will affect your family he's going to give you you have to be anointed that's why the bible talks about the fact that he says that for you have received the anointing because you understand that the holy spirit is a person and anytime the holy spirit moves he moves with specific assignment the bible says you shall receive power when the holy spirit come upon you you understand therefore that when the spirit comes and abide in you he brings an anointing that must always be utilized and today i want you to understand that as a servant of god i have come to anoint you first for the holy spirit to overshadow you and secondly for you to be marked with an assignment to fulfill your purpose thank you jesus christ your purpose will be established because of this oil and thirdly you are going to be anointed so that you cannot be touched uh, we have abused the verse touch not my anointed but what it means is that if god anoints you you cannot be touched anyhow i declare that your children will be anointed i declare that your husband will be anointed your wife will be anointed your family will be i said your chicken will be anointed everything in your life will be anointed so that nobody can touch you so that no virus can touch you so that no sickness can touch you so that no disease can touch you because the Lord has anointed you with unusual grace, with an unusual anointing to influence you in every area of your life. An anointing to, to, to preserve you, an anointing for warfare, an anointing for breakthrough, an anointing for advancement, an anointing for, for purity, an anointing for increase, an anointing for all kinds of favor to rest upon you. That is what God wants you to pass it into your life today. Under the sound of my voice, receive that oil. Receive that oil. Receive that oil in the name of Jesus. So here is the instruction. I I believe, I believe it. I believe. So here's the instruction. When you get to this point in the podcast, what I want you to do is that I want you to now go get the oil that you are going to be using for the anointing and once you get the oil i want you to touch the oil with your right finger your right hand you dip your right hand into the oil the 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 the, the pointing finger the index the 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 not the thumb but the the first one that you use to point direction right you dip your hand in that oil and then you pray with me like this you say father in the name of jesus as i dip my finger into this oil may it be sanctified may it be the oil of influence may it be the oil of increase may this be the oil that advance me may this be the oil that protects me may this be the oil that heals me may this be the oil that delivers me may this be the oil that breaks the yoke 
may this be the oil that begins to cause me to attract my husband may this be the oil that caused me to attract my wife may this be the oil that caused me to attract my job may this be the oil that caused me to attract peace that passes understanding may this be the oil that caused me to advance in my next level in jesus mighty name and after you pray that prayer you take your the same finger so you keep it in as i was praying and then you anoint your forehead and as you anoint your forehead i want you to keep your finger on your forehead and declare with me saying as i touch my forehead the god of heaven has touched me as i anoint my forehead my horn has been exalted as I anoint my forehead, I have been given what it takes to run and not be weary. As I anoint my forehead, I've been given what it takes to walk and not faint. As I anoint my forehead, I've been given what it takes to open doors that the enemy has shut. As I anoint my forehead, I've been given the light of God to shine in wherever I go. As I anoint my forehead, my business will prosper. As I anoint my forehead, my children will prosper. As I anoint my forehead, my finances will prosper. As I anoint my forehead, there will be breakthroughs over my life. Sickness will not touch this body. Infirmity will not touch this body. And the yoke and the burden shall be lifted off because of this oil and then you touch your forehead one two and three amen so don't forget that instructions you do that and then right after that you are going to understand that the oil of god has come upon you the oil of god has come upon you because he has called me to anoint you today he has called me to anoint you to give you unusual favor in every dimension of your life to give you unusual favor in your profession to give you unusual favor in your family to give you an unusual favor in all areas of your life because of the anointing understand child of God that because of this oil your hand will be made strong by the hand of the almighty because of this oil your face will be stronger than your enemies because of this oil your territory is about to expand because of this oil he will place you among prominent men and women because of this oil things you couldn't overcome you will overcome your giant will fall because the Lord has anointed you for 2021 I declare in Jesus' name, wherever the soul of your foot shall tread upon, the anointing on your life will speak. Wherever you find yourself, the anointing on your life will speak because he has called you for such a time like this to anoint you. You have been appointed. That's why you have been anointed. For God has found favor with you as you have spent nine days with God. May the Holy Ghost continually increase the oil on your head so that this will be the starting point of a supernatural influence. I declare that a wind will blow to your favor. I declare that chance will favor you. I declare that random occurrences will all turn to your favor. May heaven support you. May heaven sustain you. And may God give you the fruit of the womb rest assured that God is faithful and they that call upon the name of God the scripture says must depart from iniquity because something good is always in stock for them may God bless you I anoint you in the name of the father I anoint you in the name of the son and I anoint you in the name of the Holy Ghost Amen i
Spirit.